Hey everybody, welcome to Brothers Black Studio. I'm Al Black. Today we're going to talk about percussion. Good news. I got a gig with Hornography, a local Kootenai band here led by Clinton Swanson. Uh, and I get the luxury of playing percussion alongside of Tony Ferraro, Mark Spielman, Rich Rabnett, and the full pull horn section led by Clinton. Um, super all-star Kootenai band. Everyone else is crushing sight readers. They'll all be sight reading. I just got to get these hands in shape. Uh, I had a broken finger and I could play drum kit, but I sure wasn't able to play congas. So the last little while I've been playing congas a little more. Lately I've been watching a guy named Eric Perez. Man, how inspiring. Check out Eric Perez at a percussion life and tell you what, you're all going to want to play congas. Just the way he gets the tones, right? All right, so let's talk about uh, percussion a little bit. So um, it's auxiliary percussion, so you don't want to copy what the drummer's playing. A lot of the time you want to play something that's complementary to what he's doing, right? Let's run down the percussion rig. We'll start up here. These are called bongos. Um, the basic bongo beat is called a martillo beat. Usually it's played like thumb and hand like this, but I find I need a little more volume for the projects I play with, so I just play it. These are called congas. This is a quinto, and this is a tumba. Okay, big drum, tumba dora. Okay, um, I also have a conga, which says it goes in between. That's actually the conga size. Quinto is the solo drum. Okay, and the tumba is the big low drum. My basic tumba that I use is the basic one that I learned from Alex Acuna a long time ago off his VHS tape. He didn't teach me personally. <laughs> heel tip, slap tip, heel tip, open, open. Okay, you want to run down a couple of quick uh, conga techniques. Okay, we got the bass tone. Sometimes I play it like this. Okay, open slap. Close slap. Uh, mute slap. Open tone. So. Um, what do we got over here? We have maracas. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Maracas can drive a band like, it just sounds so good. We got a Fuchi Cabasa. I think that's what it's called. Cabasa is the big thing. I just had one from Latin percussion years ago that said a Fuchi Cabasa on it. It's my little one. It was a little red one. And then Rick teased me in this band that my Fuchi Cabasa was too small. So I got a big one. Now he doesn't tease me about the size of my Fuchi Cabasa anymore. Right? Cool instrument. We got a go, go Bells, the Alex Acuna signature stick. Ooh, yeah, you got to have one of those. So fun. Cowbell. I only use Cowbell for one song in this gig, so... I picked the one that sounded perfect for that tune, and that's this one. Guiro, super important instrument. Really tough to play, because you gotta stretch those, right? How long you stretch that note. This is my weird bent drumstick. I can't throw it out, because it's like my first drumstick. This is the only use I can find for it. It sounds great on the Guiro, because it's, it's thick and it's got the plastic so I can drive the band. I can get the volume I need to, to compete with Tony. <laughs> All right, what else? Oh, tambourine, gotta have a tambourine. Right for those big swell intros. Gotta be able to do those swells. That's a big part of what we're doing, trying to set atmosphere. If I was doing uh, one of my older gigs or a different gig, I might add some timbales, but these songs are all uh, through composed, which means you just play them as written, and Clinton has just written killer percussion parts and make me look like I know what I'm doing. They're just crushing parts, and the whole band sounds awesome. 
But having said that, there's no timbali parts in this thing, so I don't bring my timbali. And I'm not going to bring a, a crash this time either, because drummers don't love it when you're smashing crashes on them. They like to be in control of that kind of stuff. And uh, you always want to be careful of what you're, what you're stepping on, right, with the drummer. And a drummer like Tony really knows what he's doing, and he plays everything in the right spot. So I just try and lock into what he's doing and support what he's doing. That's important, right? You want to listen to him and so that he feels like you got, he's got this metronome playing along with him, right? Um, that's my main goal. And that's the most fun, right? Once you lock in, it's just, uh, it's just rhythm machine. It's the coolest feeling. And especially we got uh, Mark Spielman on bass, greatest bass player in the land. What are you going to do? I mean, it's just, man, it's so fun. Okay, so let's get to practicing. I'm just going to put on the headphones and put on the practice tape, and I'm going to play along. This is the cheat sheet that I wrote last time we played. A section, B section, A section, B section. Tells you what's up with the intros. It'll say what I'm playing, right? Snare, maracas. I had a snare in that song. I'm going to go fire up the uh, tunes. I'm not going to let you hear the tunes because it's not my music, and you never want to just start firing off that kind of stuff onto YouTube. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to let you hear what I play to the hornography stuff. All right, this first one's called Come In. Starts with some saxophone, and then I just basically I crush Guiro for about 45 minutes, I think. So don't be embarrassed just because you're standing in front of all this gear and you're just playing these funny little toys, all right? No one's going to notice. They're just going to be like, what a cool thing. Well, you're up there being, man, I should really be playing everything I have here. You know, do I really want to play Guiro for 15 minutes? The answer is, yeah. Right? Tony's doing all the work, right? Tony's drumming his ass off. The horn guys are blowing. I'm just like, although it does get tiring. I got to tell you, you know, you got to stay focused. You got to focus on the Guiro. You got to stretch those notes in the right way. All right, here comes the next song. What is it? Oh my God, this is like a 45 minute conga beatdown. So what I have to do is get so good at that rhythm that I can play it without using effort. Because <laughs> you don't actually have to hit the drum that hard, you just have to hit it correctly. That's never really been my forte, I've always sort of hit it harder because my technique's been poor, all right? So that's where, like, watching Eric Perez, I'm just like, oh, I gotta get my tone together, man. He's so good. So I just gotta get in shape, right? Don't let anything like that stop you, all right? Don't, the don't let the fact that you have poor technique, no training, no friends, no money, don't let any of that stop you, man. Just play. And in this last section, it sounds so good if you just drive the simple tumba, right? That's the end. Good Lord! That's an insane amount of drumming. What the hell's next? This is where I do the maracas. Oh yeah, this is badass. Oh, I rick solo. Sax solo, baby. Wish you guys could hear this. Man, I love Clinton's stuff. It's so good, man. Guitar. 
Oh yeah, right. Oh yeah, this. All right. <laughs> all right. So this is where you're like, maybe I'm playing too much bongos, right? But it just sounds good. You know, I'll bring it in, and it's all of a sudden it's like, whoa, the whole beat's like, hey. You can do like the, the fake martillo beat. Are you glad you tuned in? You're like, what's this idiot doing? I call this the dancing monkey. Oh, hey, man. It's good to have me on stage because, look, the people moving on stage. You can pay this guy like 150 bucks a night to do that. Why isn't he playing? Oh, he was playing. I'm going to switch up the vibe. for this kid. This is really hard to do for a long period of time. Then the groove goes away because you're just desperately trying to keep the physical motions going, you know? Got to get in training. My hands are tired, man. How long is this section? They go for another horn solo? I'm switching, man. Get my hands are too tired. Woo! Give me one of these. You like point at someone in the crowd. Woo! You know, they don't realize you just like. You can't keep up. Make sure what you do makes sense within the, arra uh, the arrangement, though, right? You don't want to just start. Throwing in weird stuff. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> it's like the uh, Saturday Night Live Santa song. I got to play some. It's Congress. Be careful you don't bruise the crap out of yourself in training too, right? Woo! Careful how you hit those drums. Favors, we got cowbell, conga, afuki, kabasa, conga solo, with bongos. Uh-oh. Right, there's the bass guitar. And then I come in right here. Woo!
This is the 6 8. This is the most badass song, man. I just gotta dial up the massive conga pattern. It's just. Got shot section three. So this song is just glory for me, right? I stand around for about five minutes playing Guiro. Then I jump in with a conga solo with the cool shots that I can play the shots while I'm soloing. And then I bring in the go-go bells. Ah, oh, it's so good. The crazy thing too, having five horns in your face is heavy, man. The harmony, the chords, like, it's like, ooh, you wanna just poop yourself all the time. All right, here we go. Bubba, 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 bubba. Definitely should have recorded maybe four or five practices down the road. But there you have it. There's my first practice for the Hornography Show coming up in a month. And uh, man, how much fun is that? Great parts. I got to work up some of my parts, get my act together, figure out some of the stuff that I'm playing. But man, I'm looking forward to this. It's going to be great. Okay, thanks everyone. Hope you had a good time watching me clown around in my dancing monkey routine. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Yeah.